Now, uh, the last round, Mr. Lukiski. Mr. Minister, I just want to go back briefly, if I can, with my first question to, to a comment that uh, Mr. Angus had made, or an observation, I guess, Mr. Angus had made earlier when he was uh, apparently quite critical of my colleague, Mr. Lake, who was holding round tables in his constituency and informing some of his constituents that there is a threat of imprisonment or fine if you don't fill out the long form census. Mr. Angus seemed to be suggesting that uh, most Canadians didn't realize this and so no harm, no foul. Um, would that be a, an accurate commentary just because people don't realize that there was a threat of imprisonment or fine that we should just leave things the way they are? Uh, obviously not and, and uh, these issues c tend to percolate up uh, the closer and closer we get to a census time uh, and uh, reach a crescendo when the, when the census takers uh, start knocking on doors and following up, uh, doing, doing their follow-ups uh, obviously and uh, it's in the legislation. The, the, the fines and, uh, and or imprisonment is in the legislation, it's found in the Statistics Act and uh, that is a part of the repertoire, as I said, of, uh, of inducements and or threats that are used to, uh, to get people to fill out the forms. So we just think that that's inappropriate, we think that that's going too far, that's government going too far in the pursuit of more and more data. Uh, we acknowledge that data is important for making decisions, but we think we should be searching for uh, a uh, middle way of protecting citizens from the overbearing nature of the state when it comes to these things, and at the same time, getting uh, obtaining usable uh, data uh, that uh, that is uh, that certainly serves the purpose for which the survey was intended. That's the balanced approach that we're taking. My understanding, Minister, as well, and, and uh, I know we'll have officials from Statistics Canada appearing before this committee later this morning, and I'll be asking them similar questions. But my understanding is that Statistics Canada now has a number of voluntary surveys uh, that they utilize in the collection of information, uh, which they use for various purposes. Is that correct? Uh, absolutely. And in fact, that, uh, that role of StatsCan has grown over the years as uh, more and more demand for more and more information. Uh, and so I would characterize uh, the uh, decision made by the government uh, and go government gets to make this decision pursuant to the legislation. Uh, we, we have uh, decided that uh, in order to obtain the right balance, as I've mentioned, that uh, more of the information required of Canadians would be in the form of voluntary uh, questions and fewer would be mandatory. That's simply the decision that we have made and, and I think that that's a fair and reasonable decision to be made. In the, in the case of these um, the multitude of surveys that Statistics Canada puts out on a voluntary basis, and again, this question would be better served asking uh, of those officials, and I will be asking that question, but to your information, or to your knowledge, um, I would assume that a lot of information comes back on a voluntary basis, otherwise Statistics Canada would probably be lobbying for many of these surveys to be made mandatory. Would that not be a correct assessment? And uh, I, I do encourage you to uh, get uh, that question out to some other of the, uh, the deponents today as well. But uh, certainly uh, the fact of the matter is I'm, I'm here to, as the minister responsible for StatsCan to say that, that uh, StatsCan is a uh, highly professional organization. Uh, they do their job well uh, and uh, they do that job not only on mandatory census but they also do that job well on voluntary surveys and uh, I certainly have received the commitment from StatsCan uh, that uh, they will apply the same amount of professionalism uh, in the case of the National Household Voluntary Long Form Survey as they do in other voluntary surveys. Finally, uh, Mr. Minister, uh, I would just ask you this, it seems like an obvious question given the government's position, but I'd like you to express it verbally to this committee if you can. Um, what is your level of confidence that changing the long form to a voluntary basis would elicit the same information necessary for Statistics Canada to do the work that they uh, have been doing over the past number of decades? Well, there's no question, uh, if I can say, that uh, if you uh, don't threaten people with jail uh, and or fines, you have to be a bit more persuasive in moral suasion using non-coercive -coerci methods to obtain the same information. I don't want to be on record saying anything other than that, but it can be done and it will be done.
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nikiski. Thank you to our two witnesses, the Deputy Minister and the Minister, for appearing. This meeting is suspended to 10.30.